Welcome back to Real Estate Today. I'm Elliot Kulik, and today we've been talking with Lawrence Bard and Jeffrey Young of Auction Prop, which is a real innovative uh, auction concept to market uh, real estate. We've talked about the philosophy and how they're embracing the real estate community, and specifically uh, realtors, and, and trying to get them involved in the concept and validating um, how this concept can really enhance the visibility of selling homes and certainly marking them. And then we really talked about the mechanics of actually how the whole auction process works by registering your buyers and that the leads go to the realtors, uh, that there's a relationship between the auction company and the real estate community to get buyers and sellers to market their properties and ultimately buy their properties uh, in addition to the traditional way that we all typically buy and sell real estate. What I want to talk about now, guys, is let's talk about what the real, realistic expectations that exist in this market and let's say buyer's market to media market to seller's market for both the selling side and the buying side. So, I, I, I want to start by saying our philosophy and our concept is here in all three markets you've just mentioned. It's in a buyer's market, it works, it works in an intermediate market, and it works in a seller's market. And we're here for the long haul. We're not here just because there's a situation of maybe a price correction, a moving market, a slightly downward movement in prices. We here, in fact, our model works as well, if not better, in a upward or a bull property market. Um, reason being, we've seen this in Sydney, Australia. Take that as a, as, a, as a market, as an isolated market. That's the only way 99.9% .9 of real estate in Sydney, Australia is sold using the auction method and using our model where the realtor brings his buyer to the auction and the, and the, the seller uses his realtor to list the property. There's, there's no, there's the, that's the only way it works. Well, let's talk about that. In our world, let's call it the United States, Properties are listed on the multiple listing, primarily throughout the country, and that's how the majority of real estate is bought and sold. So we add this whole auction concept to it. Answer this question, and we talked about it before, and I want to see how you answer it. Why should a buyer or a buyer's broker, I understand why a seller should put it on the auction, because what's the downside? Minimal marketing fee when you sell it, I think it's what, uh, $2,000 if they successfully sell it as opposed to tradition. You know, these auction companies are charging, you know, upwards of $20,000 to put it to auction with no broker involvement. So I understand the selling side. On the buy side, why should a buyer wait to go to an auction to bid on a property as opposed to just buying it through their broker and MLS? I'll answer that in one word, Elliot. Yeah. Value. Okay. It's all about value. This whole concept, this whole uniqueness of what we do is about value. It's value to the seller. He gets his best price. It's an open environment. And a buyer gets value because he's bidding to where he is comfortable at paying for the home. If he gets outbid, he gets outbid. But if he, gets, if he bids and he wins the bid, he gets value where he was comfortable bidding to. There's no, no hidden agendas for anyone. There's no hidden offers. It's, it's value for both buyer and value for both seller. Right, okay. You know, what I found when I was starting to embrace the concept was as a real estate broker, I found it as a wonderful way to add, let's talk the current environment. It's a little weak in some areas, some areas are kind of flat, but you know, business is always still being done. And I said, you know what, if there aren't as many buyers currently, let's say a few months ago, and it's getting better every month, I said, you know what, to my sellers, why not add another way to market their properties and get people interested in it? Sure. And it actually made my sellers feel much better that I was being forward thinking at thinking of another way to get the job done. Because you know, at the end of the day, my sellers, they, all they care about is, when is my property selling? I mean, not literally, but I mean, the bottom line is, how much am I netting and when am I closing? Sure. Whether I sell it through auction, whether I sell it traditionally, whether they just want it done. And I think that they're not looking for excuses, they're looking for results. And I believe, and after you know, many, many meetings with you, and I think you guys have really explained the concept well, is that this concept gives them another way to efficiently uh, market their properties and sell their properties. Sure. And I want to come back to value. It's yes. in, in, in the traditional 
um, auction environment, there's usually a 10% buyer's premium. Yes. So if you buy a home for a million dollars, you end up paying 1.1 million, and very often the closing costs are all um, uh, allocated to the buyer. In our model, it's a very, very different scenario. Um, whatever, whatever the maximum buyer's premium we charge, it's normally around 3.99% to 4.99%. Sometimes there's no buyer's premium depending on the circumstances of that sale. So we never have a buyer's premium of more than 50% less than what, well, all, what, point. what all the other auction companies are charging. That's something really to think about in a high ticket item like, like, like homes. So if you wanted to drive home, we talked value. We've talked mechanics, we've talked philosophy, we've talked embracing the real estate community. If there was one thing you wanted to drive home to everybody who's watching the show about auctions, what would it be? Elliot, it's about setting a competitive market where everybody benefits. There is economies of scale at an auction prop auction, uh, be it from the buyer's premium side, be it from the listing realtor side. The buyer is able to determine in an open and transparent environment what they prepare to pay for the property and be able to see offers coming in on the floor, whether it's from floor bidders, whether it's from online bidders, and they're able to determine what they prepare to pay for that property. No one can tell them. They need to do their due diligence beforehand and are able to bid to the number which, that, which makes them feel comfortable. And utilize the services of someone like you, like Elliot Kulik, to advise them on what value is. Because you, the expert, you know the market, you know the area, you know the neighborhood. Right. That's what you specialize in, and it's a professional service. Well, I think, you know, a lot of times we say, you know, uh, a situation is a win-win. But I think in this situation, it's really a win-win-win. It's a, it could actually could be win-win-win-win, <laughs> because the buyer wins, the seller wins, the brokers win, and then auction prop wins. Okay. So I, I am, you know, and I've said this, you know, on the show already, but I am extremely excited. I am, you know, you guys are friends more than just business associates, and I really feel that this is, I'm, I'm happy that we were able to explain to everybody your concept, and I think as time goes on and we educate people. We're gonna do them far more frequently. It'll be held on a Saturday, uh, around lunchtime, it'll be the same time every Saturday, where buyers can come and buy real properties being sold by real sellers. I think that's the message. So uh, I think today's show was extremely exciting. Um, I'm always happy to bring new concept and new ideas to everybody at home. And I think um, as we all learned about eBay and how eBay changed the world as far as online, you know, it's the online marketplace. I think auction prop, and I hope it becomes the next eBay of selling real estate. And uh, I think it's an exciting concept, and I'm really glad that everyone was able to tune in this week, and we'll see you on the next edition of Real Estate Today.